Hey, Hi, Arthur. Arthur. Can you hear me? Yep, I can. What's up, man? Yeah. Hi. Uh, everything is good here. I'm in my village, so a lot of nature. Hello, guys. Hey, what's up, man? Thanks. Everything's fine. Hope you are doing so great. So this well. is Yuga. You already Yuga, talk, or yeah. I, I was kind of late. Oh, you can introduce. <laughs> <laughs> so this is my uh, close friend Juga, uh, and uh, this is Arthur, uh, who is uh, <laughs> currently nice running Cornell Why. So yeah, about podcast post podcast ideas. Yeah, we can hear your opinion also, Juga. And yeah, I'll talk a little bit about it, but like Arthur can give you more details about this collaboration, I guess. Yep. Uh, thank you so much for for joining us. Um, I basically the idea came from uh, Grigol uh, telling me that hey, uh, you know, YouTube videos are great, but it would be even better to have audio like podcast. And I I immediately resonated to that. And I just never created podcasts. I I've listened to some and I understand how it works. But if if you could possibly like give me direction in how uh, we can enable that, especially for these like brainstorming sessions and other pieces that I'm sharing to external world, um, that will be a great start. Okay. So first of all, I'm not like a professional podcaster, so I'm not making money. I can from see that. your, your <laughs> setup. It looks professional. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that <laughs> that I kind of achieved. So I have like about around like 30 episodes, and like my last episodes are mainly okay. So I think I, I learned a lot. So that's I'm also very humble. So that's I introduce myself this way, like you know, <laughs> you know, to secure myself if I do something. Yep, that's good. Yeah. So the thing is. Um, if you make a podcast, you, you need to understand what you want to deliver. Like it will be like a status update, something like weekly news or like more live talks or something. And also you kind of should understand that if, in order to listen this, like without video stream or, the, or for like, you, you have to decide like who is your audience as well. Like it's only internal group, like or general audience, because if it's general audience, the flow should be like more, how to say, more fluent and like more concentrated, and probably something should be explained in more details. And it's context. Yeah, and uh, on that, it's highly depend how much time you need to spend on the processing, because for me, for example, I have a friend of mine. We're doing this podcast like some episodes where we are two of us just talking like general so in general it took me like like we record like about one or two hours of our audio and then i cut it and i need like four hours in order to finalize it in oh, wow. something like 40 minute episode yeah because uh, well, maybe i'm i'm kind of love to be like precise like i chopped it like try to take the at least you need to listen all this right yeah, at least once. And I'm not sure if, if Grigol is... showed you the uh, the video and timestamps that I've done, um, but basically I get what you're saying. Like I record these these videos, then I re-listen them in two x, and I create the annotations, timestamps, because I'm producing like 20 videos per day now, and I understand mm. that people are overwhelmed, and I'm creating these timestamps. Hey, this is the relevant piece for you if you would like to learn about vision. This is about like Kaggle and stuff like that. So I totally get that. Yeah, the, the, the timestamps, I actually was lazy enough to understand like how they're working. Like I, I, I never in, implicate that into the audio file or in my, uh, or in my podcast stream. So uh, probably in YouTube comments, it's easier. I saw a couple of your YouTube videos. They're great. What I hear from another podcaster, like who is like on more professional level, he kind of dumping his audio files into some, some kind of neural network, which gives him the text, text file. Then he can, yeah, yeah, transcriptions and like, and with his transcriptions, he say like uh, he can work like quicker and easier, mm -hmm. and then he just takes the, the the pieces he already knew where they are, and he don't need to listen or that do any, any additional. Yeah, but I never work with this kind of interface, so I can just 
I think I might find the reference, but I know I, I'm not familiar with that. Makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. What else? So, yeah. Go ahead. Does that make any sense? What I'm saying, like, is it yes, somehow makes, useful? <laughs> makes a lot of sense. Uh, biggest insight for me is the fact that yes, we have to spend you know two uh, x more time on editing and processing than on actual uh, recording. So that makes sense. In terms of notes um, and transcribing, that also makes sense. In terms of the structure. Yes, like I, I guess I never thought about it, but what is the audience of that podcast? And I think it can be a mix of, you know, and maybe it's, it's different pieces of podcast, right? So one pieces are for internal use, so some pieces for, are purely for external use. Like that video that um, I sent uh, Grigol is the, the one that is actually very simple to understand to outside world with some context you know these guys are discussing some like post capitalism you know how everything has changed during this coronavirus stuff how it's a common enemy how everyone is uniting and it's very easy to understand for external people that you know are are seeing what's happening in the world but if we would take some you know daily calls or you know specific like communications team calls or stuff like that Yes, it will be very hard to understand for the external audience. Mm -hmm. So I guess I see the immediate dichotomy into two, the external world and internal world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was thinking about it, uh, Arthur, and uh, uh, like uh, daily updates uh, will be great uh, in kind of podcast uh, style because uh, most of the time we don't need to watch uh, the screen and it's just uh, kind of text and also uh, this kind of small, maybe five minutes daily update, updates for uh, each group uh, will also be kind of history. And if you just go and uh, listen to only one group, you will understand how it's developed and uh, what was called and how it changed over time. So uh, like daily updates will be also great podcast, but also we have a lot of uh, experts from different fields and maybe uh, some general uh, ideas about this uh, virus and how world is changing for uh, general audience uh, will be also great. Yeah. Have you seen the, the webinar uh, that Sid uh, have done? No. Okay, so this was huge. Like he, he took the, basically the super complex processes of how virus works and explained it in super, super easy terms that you know I understood and many other tech people understood. And I think, yes, things like that, just general education from people that uh, have knowledge. And we have a bunch of like MDs and physicians already, toxicologists, pharmacologists, and other people, that would be great. So kind of like medical expert integration and their feedback on, on what's going on. Mm -hmm. One thing I also could add, like if you're making this for general audience, maybe sometime you need some voiceover. And so it will be preferable if the guy would be the native speaker or something, mm. probably. By or like or at, least, or at least fluent, fluent in English, uh, like really fluent. You mean like introduction? No, I mean like, for example, you, you get the recording and then you realize that you need some context for this phrase, for example. Otherwise, it's great, but this makes no sense if you do not add like some additional sentences. Oh, and, okay. And you need so, someone like to extra context for explaining what this person meant. Right? Yeah, for example, like this, or sometimes. Now I I, I think like I, I'm I'm kind of try to reverse engineer things. So so I I listened to one podcast and it was like with interview and sometimes during this interview the guy was like voice overing some as if he's storytelling, but I think it might be some technical detail. Like, for example, the voice is, like, the sound is bad, or like you cannot distinguish the words and you are still not production, right? You, or you, someone you has a to... very, you know, thick accent. And... Yes, that, that's a problem. Or, or like really slow manner of speaking. And that, in these cases, they took like the most, the best sentences from the speech and everything else you need to speed up and like 
say in proper English. Otherwise, it's really like different to focus on them on the subject. So this you have to keep in mind because if the interview, like if you interview people with a good English, it's usually it's fine. Otherwise, it might become mess like really quickly. Makes sense. Even okay. even if the guy is not flu sorry sorry I just think if, even if if the guy did not have the habit to giving the talks or like speak like in fluent manner, it might take you a lot like to just edit things and take off the for example the words parasites or something. Yeah, like, especially we have a lot of introverts and super uh, technical <laughs> people, and sometimes it's very hard for them to communicate. And yeah, like there, there was this one video, I think that was the one that I sent Gregor, where there was a guy on the call that uh, didn't want to speak. But he, like, when we asked him, do you have any thoughts? He actually typed that into the chat. And I had to... <laughs> From Chile, right? Or... Yes. And he's extremely smart, super intelligent guy. Uh -huh. He's just, you know, shy and extremely introverted. But yeah, I decided, like, uh, I assume people will be watching this, so I'm going to read this uh, through. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So th this, this might happen, yeah. Makes sense. So in terms of, okay, so here comes the, a, a tough question. Who right. do you think we need in terms of, like, a team that will be able to produce these, uh, like, let's say weekly to start, but, you know, ideally daily? It depends, like what, or how how you distribute the work. Like for example, if everybody like making some recording of weekly ideas, like for example, like I, this is my weekly starter status, and he sent to some one guy like audio files, then this guy could like edit it things, and it does not m took like too much time. If the guy need to contact to each uh, of you, interview, make the lots of like uh, how to say try to build the story from it yeah. yeah it's it's kind of more tough so i don't know i could like for fun make a couple of episodes to see just how it's working let's do it <laughs> yeah <laughs> it, it will be like really fun for me um i can try to make some interviews but I, but again like i don't know how much time it took to me for me because this format will be like Mm. it's experimental like yeah, look, yeah. a whole this thing is uh less than two weeks um mm -hmm. you know and we are <clears throat> more than 800 people and essentially like it's crazy that it's working but the reason why it's working is because we're experimenting every single day we're taking mm -hmm. something ideating seeing if it works if it doesn't throwing it away and if something works we try to understand what works about it and then double down on it. So it's an all giant science, science experiment, you know. Oh, yeah. It's fun, too. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it would be, yeah. <laughs> so what, what's your idea? Like, uh, what, what do you prefer? Like, so weekly updates for general audience or like for technically, how to say, like more like tech-oriented general audience? <laughs> like, okay, so, still... <laughs> yeah. If I would prioritize, I would actually say that uh, we're doing okay in terms of internal updating and you know the videos in general give a good picture the daily call is pretty good about that we still have a bunch like hundreds of people that are you know disengaged and would benefit from some content but i think the bigger problem is actually exposing externally what we're doing here and why it's awesome and what's happening because for people that are looking at this from the outside, they're like, what is going on? Like, why are these hundreds of people collaborating, how they're collaborating? And like, first of all, like it's important for organizations to understand that we are that amazing power that they can utilize to, to solve problems and, you know, understand how they can interact with us. So I think external general mm -hmm. audience, is the best and top priority for now. And I also okay. think it would be cool for, for the first try because you would also better understand what, what exactly is going on. Okay. And how, how long should it be? Like 40 minutes, 30 minutes, 20 minutes? I think minutes? 30 minutes, yeah. 30 minutes, okay. 
Yeah, also uh, if it will be like more than 30 minutes uh, in the beginning, it will be hard for people to uh, just get interested because, yeah. Commitment. Uh, first podcast yeah. course, last year, yeah, half an hour is okay, but it's like if two hours, yeah, it's hard to just listen all of this. Okay, so probably the, the first episode should be like introduction of your group, so yeah. more or less, right? Yeah. And yeah. Uh, we can, I don't know, set up the Trello board for the episode and like Let's how do. it's how it's built. Yeah. We have a really big Trello board and uh, maybe uh, Chuka can uh, just add uh, some podcast uh, board there. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that. it will be great if uh, yeah, you explain all of this and maybe also uh, some guys who have uh, their own groups so would explain uh what mm -hmm. their groups are doing if it will be uh, if uh, half an hour will be enough for that not sure so yeah i agree so i'm gonna create trello board i'm gonna call it um podcast just mm -hmm. for the simplicity of it and <laughs> i'm not sure how do you typically break down the lists like i usually do to do doing and done and resources uh right now i'm doing kind of each board like but but i have like board in which like each column is kind of episode and i try to do some cards inside this episode in order to see like what is after what but but do whatever however okay. you feel so comfortable I created and I... board. Uh, can you send me your email here real quick i'm gonna add you yep uh where is chat here Or, or not not this one, sorry. Yeah, oh, not this one. Okay. This one. Okay. Yeah. All right. And Done. another thing is like, how do you plan to deploy it? Yeah, distribution. I understand that it's a crazy complex, you know, thing. Uh, like if 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 it will be till until like five hours. So, so the thing is, I'm, 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 for example, buying the subscription for the SoundCloud, and I already have the one podcast stream. So I don't think that if you overlap, it will be nice, like but because like someone already have RSS. So if you open new kind of new podcast with different stream, up to five hours, I think it should be for free, or at least okay. up to two two hours, something like this, and then you need like. For unlimited, it costs around 11 euros, I think, per month. Okay, so if they don't I, decrease this, I added first task for you list out all the platforms, tools we need. So, I basically we have the team at Corona Y uh, email, and we can go ahead and basically sign up for all these um, platforms and tools. I'm pretty sure we can reach out and ask for you know, the, the free account or upgrade. Uh, we've done it with travel. We now have free, whatever paid account. Uh, we have it with Slack. Uh, people are slowly, you know, responding to, to us on various platforms and tools, but it's possible. That's nice. Yeah. Okay, so that sounds good. In terms of distribution, we're going to have different platforms, right? They're like iTunes and other places. Like SoundCloud gives you the RSS feed. I think that why I like SoundCloud, like it's, it's my personal opinion, right? I, I didn't go like too much deep research and I don't know what's in market. But in general, you can listen from the browser. You can listen ordinary RSS feed because it's give you the RSS feed as well, uh, the SoundCloud platform. So the last time I used RSS feeds was like 10 years ago. I'm, so I'm, yeah, and you can, after you establish something on your uh, channel, you can then add it to iTunes or like Google Podcasts. Oh, so it's that's, like that's, en enabling distribution to other platforms? Yeah, it, it's kind of like you set up the, the the podcast show and after that they kind of accept this mm. and you have like central hub you distribute this and they distribute it that's after cool. that yeah so i mean let's try with some cloud first and then see how it goes yeah the only problem with south cloud i have like because my 
podcast was in Georgian. I cannot set the Georgian language for the podcast. But with English lingual podcast, it should be no problem. Uh, oh. It's like iTunes like reject like four times my, uh, my, <laughs> my, my suggestion because they said, oh, that's not English. And I say, yes, I know, but they don't have the Georgian. <laughs> but finally, somehow I sneak. Hope no one like nice. <laughs> kick me out. Yeah. Okay, cool. I mean, sounds great. Uh, are there any other uh, questions or things that you think uh, I, I should help in, in some ways? Uh, you think, you, you, like, uh, probably someone like need to write the about part, so maybe some logo or something like, mm -hmm. like clip art. Just we have to logo, see. we have okay. people that uh, are writing stuff. I'm not the best mm -hmm. person to write stuff and I'm also not a native speaker. Uh, I'm from Ukraine originally. So uh, like I have people that um, are on the communications team on, on Slack right. and they can write that. Well, but your English is quite good because till the moment you remind me that you're from UK, <laughs> I cannot pick up the accent at all. <laughs> so, and only after that I started to, okay, 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 you need to catch the accent. <laughs> Yeah, thank yeah. you. Uh, it's it's just because I, I I live in U.S. and you know the the environment makes it easier to to adjust. Okay, and maybe some theme song if you have some theme song or something catchy phrase like or name of the podcast. This also you need to like a come slogan or something. Uh, um, no, for for example, yeah, kind of or like about like yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I have a for good example. one. Managing the chaos. <laughs> <laughs> and the name of the podcast? Um, yeah, I'll, I'll have to think about it. But. Yeah, like uh, this. Uh, yeah, and after that, like usually, because, like first setup will take some time. After that, it will be more or less like fluent. So, and the know. theme song. Uh, can you send me a couple of links on like how? other people done it <laughs> I, can, uh, I can send you mine <laughs> but that works. no i know i can i i will try to see yeah yeah because i'm pretty sure we can uh, get someone uh, we have a guy that is um, uh, working for that company you know the audio recording company the big one mm -hmm. on a ableton or right oh uh, really yeah we that, have that guy <laughs> yeah. in the group <laughs> It's crazy. He was the guy that was talking about the, the governments and stuff in, in the video, Brigal. The Tyler. Ah, guy. okay. Yeah. The new guy. Yeah. Yeah. So we have a bunch of people British from. British activist, right? Uh, sorry, what? Yeah. He was from Britain. Uh, like yeah, yeah. UK collective. guy. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we have so many different people from different skill sets. It's crazy. So I'm pretty sure, like, whatever need we have for this podcast we can get it done in, in less than 24 hours. Or we can invite as we invite Google. So. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that works too. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's a perfect time for us to be like more human and help each other and understand that, you know, everyone, and it's like natural to, to want to help, you know? And yeah, it's, it's just beautiful. Mm. Yeah. All right. Sounds fun. Yeah. So sounds good. I'll have to jump to another call. But right. um, I've created that Trello board. Feel free to message me on Slack. And yeah, let's let's try to figure it out. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you, man. Thank you so much for joining us. That's no, that's my pleasure. Fun. My pleasure. It's it's, Prom it's promised to be fun. So. Yep. <laughs> All, right. <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. Bye. Have a nice day. Bye. You too. Bye.